Hello everyone again, welcome to the next section of Google Cloud Storage Console. In this video, we will know how to perform basic tasks in Google Cloud Storage using the Google Cloud Platform Console. So, first of all, we will know how to create a bucket and uh, what is the difference between the types uh, of storage in Google Cloud. We will also know how to upload an object into the bucket. Then we will know how to share an object publicly and the last video for this section we will know how to create a folder and delete a folder and work with uh, objects in the cloud so let's get started first of all let's open google cloud platform and choose from storage storage and then click on browser so as you can see here where you can upload uh, an object and storage some data in Google Cloud storage. So first of all, let's create a bucket and bucket, which means like a package or uh, some place to store data in. So first of all, let's name your bucket. But keep in mind, there is a bucket naming rules. The rule number one is do not include sensitive information in your bucket because this bucket name is global and publicly visible the second rule is bucket name must start and end with a number or letter and the bucket name must contain from 3 to 63 character and bucket names must contain from 3 to 63 character also bucket name cannot be represented as an ip address like 192.168.1.1 Another rule is bucket names cannot be with the GOOG prefix. And the last one, bucket name cannot contain a Google or a closed misspelling of Google. So let's name our bucket. Let's say name it Edu Onyx and then click on continue. So we have we have named our bucket. So let's select uh, where is the data will be stored. We have uh, different uh, locations to store, like region and multi-region. So in, this, our, in our case, we will select multi-region, then United States, and click on continue. So you have to choose a default storage class for your data. There is four classes: standard and near line and cold line and archive. Uh, Let's have a quick look of the uh, difference between uh, the region and uh, multi region and uh, cold line and near line. In Google Cloud Regional Storage, Regional Storage is one of the available standard storage options. The data under this storage class is placed in a single Google Cloud location and it is not distributed among other data centers. It is the cheapest standard storage option. However, as the data is stored in a single place only, users from the other countries may have a low connection speed and performance. Google Cloud Storage Regional is good as you can use it in off-site storage or backup storage for IT infrastructure with the same region or data store for Google Compute Engine virtual machine in same location. It gives you high performance with low price. About the multi-regional Google Cloud Storage, Google Cloud Storage multi-regional is another standard storage option that duplicates data between several regions worldwide. So multi-regional storage is a bit more expensive than regional, but users can access it as a high speed anywhere on the globe. Another advantage of multi-regional uh, storage type, data became unsuspectable to natural disaster and local data center failures. The best use of multi-regional Google Cloud Storage is website content hosting and file server and media streaming and sharing and data store for applications, including gaming, of course. About Google Cloud Nerdline Storage is designed for cool data that is used once per month or less. Nerdline Storage keeps its data storage in data within one region and is cheap compared to the standard storage. So in the upshot, Nearline is the best storage for data access, infrequently 
but regularly and the best application are as follow and you can use nearline storage in storage for monthly analyzed statistical data and documents and media archives and storage for regular backups and the last one is disaster recovery facility about uh, the last one is google cloud cold line storage cold line storage is a new cold tire storage for archival data with access frequency of less than once per year so nearline has no delay period to data access so now it is the best leading solution among competitors its low price and long minimum stored period make nearline the best solution for data that is unlikely to be accessed more than once a year you can use cold line storage for data archive disaster recovery storage and outdated backups storage so the conclusion if you are need a data store for a google compute engine in instance use regional if you need a cloud storage for website contents and downloads and application so you have to use multi-regional storage and nearline storage is the best solution for statistical data regular backups working files and documented archives if you need an archive for outdated data and disaster recovery suites use of course cold line storage so in our case we will use standard and click on continue and then continue then click on create so we have created our first bucket in google cloud storage as a multi-regional type storage uh, this is all for this video in the next one we will know what uh, how to upload an object and how to share this object publicly and how to create folders and subfolders and more see you again bye bye